when direct current with high voltage, and this is anywhere between up you know, to 300 kilovolts, is applied to the gravitator, it swings up the arc until its propulsive force balances the force of the Earth's gravity result at that point. Then it stops, but it does not remain there. The pendulum then gradually returns to the vertical or the starting position, even while the potential is maintained. And so I'll repeat that afterwards because I know it's a lot to absorb. But to me, this was a very interesting confession because all of this research that I'm showing you now implies that static high voltage is all you need. Whereas Brown tells you it's more of a pulse high voltage. Okay, so here's the uh, diagram that Paul and I left. I need to give him lots of credit because he made the first book possible um, by actually adding his interpretation and diagnosis of what the V2 had done to implement the um, electrogravitic designs. And I'm happy to say at a conference just recently, I had a fellow from the DOD come up to my booth, point to the subtitle, Reports on a New Propulsion Methodology, get his wife's attention, and then said, I want to buy your book. And essentially, as we started talking, he says, well, I want to see how much you know. I know all about the V2. <laughs> and so he was very surprised that I put all this into a book. But the nice thing is, hopefully, we'll have a dialogue. And the more I can display how much I know, the more possible, I'll say possible, uh, declassification is. Because it all is based on how much you know. And if you, can, if you know enough about a classified project, it's very likely that you can push it out into the declassified area, such as the uh, global positioning satellites. Thank God they declassified that scrambling method. Otherwise, we wouldn't even know where we are. And there was a military scrambling project that was classified. So there is hope for declassification.